Hi. Hello, Watch People. How are you? Hope you are fine. Thanks to watch my channel. So uh, today is the special greetings to the water sanitation people who work in water and sanitation sector. So as an environmental scientist, I want to share one uh, one technology with you. I think you all are aware about it already. This is about biogas technology. I think you know about biogas. Biogas is a technology where the natural gas produced by the excreta of human and other organic uh, materials and later on this uh, natural gas used for cooking or lighting or any other energy energy uh, purposes so uh, today i will uh, show you how biogas uh, you have you can make how you can uh, draw and design biogas plant and uh, hopefully this design and drawing might be helpful for you uh, for your uh, event for your uh, intervention for your uh, preparation or even for your knowledge or better understanding about biogas so i will try my best to show you i don't know how much helpful it will be so let's try and uh, let's hope it would be helpful the constructed view of biogas plant ideal biogas plant has three interconnected chambers which are the digester chamber the hydraulic chamber and the slurry pit the volume or size of the biogas plant is designed considering the amount of sludge to be handled. The construction of the biogas plant must follow the precise construction steps. Let's take an example of 2 cubic meter biogas plant. First, the site has to be excavated with a measurement of 6.5 feet depth with a diameter of 8.5 feet. A layer of sand of 3 inches thickness has to be added. Then. A polythene sheet has to be sprayed over the sand and a 3 inches thick brick soling has to be prepared over sheet. A layer of 4 inches reinforced concrete cement has to be poured over the brick flat soling to ensure the chamber stability. 10 inches of brickwork with mortar has to complete the sides of the digester chamber until a height of about 3 feet and 5 inches. A gateway of 2 feet 7 inch height and two feet width has to be kept between digester and hydraulic chamber. For hydraulic chamber, a circular chamber of height two feet six inches from the top of the gateway and of diameter six feet two inch has to be constructed. Next step includes the construction of an arc over the digester chamber, which looks like a dome of one foot three inches height. The RCC roof of the hydraulic chamber will be of 4 inches thickness. In the upper portion, an outlet of 6 inches will be opened to adjacent slurry pit. The dimension of this chamber is 4 feet 10 inches and 3 feet 10 inches with effective depth of 3 feet 6 inches from the top of the hydraulic chamber to prevent gas leaking. Three different layers of plaster has to be provided where first and the third layer has to be mixed with Pudlo. A final painting with enamel painted layer is to ensure total impermeability of the biogas chambers. All the human excreta firstly come in the intermediate pit from the connected latrine blocks. Then they are received by the digester. In digester, three degradation steps take place in anaerobic condition which are hydrolysis, acidification and methanization. In Bangladesh climatic conditions, it takes 20 to 30 days to get the first gas production which contain 60 to 70 percent methane. The substance resulting from this process goes to the hydraulic chamber where aerobic degradation occurs. Then it overflows to the slurry pit. The final sludge contains 93% water, 4.5% organic and 2.5% inorganic matters, which is less harmful. Finally, with appropriate transformation processes, the slurry can be valorized as manure. Hi, so hope you watch uh, this biogas video. 
Uh, I hope that this biogas uh, design or drawing will help you a bit. But one thing, remember that this is a design and drawing by, by, by graphic and other things. But for installation of the real biogas, please consult with uh, a civil engineer or especially environmental engineer like us and uh, consult with them properly because each and every measurement is very much crucial of this biogas installment. So hope to see you again and keep watching and uh, stay safe. Goodbye.